You smell that internet? That's the sound of retro blasting in the air. We're going into the 80s for a little trip. And uh, we're going to play some Mac Warrior. We're going to get it out on the table for you, and we'll be back. So I know we're just sort of walking into this. Okay, so now that I'm trying to get this, I'm going to try the uh, Auto Cannon 5 at you. Okay, and that will hit. That will hit. And the Auto Cannon 5. It does 5 damage. 5 damage. So roll to see where it hits me. Roll 2d6. And then check on the location table. That's a 6. So yeah. that's going to hit me for 5 damage in my right torso. In your right torso. Okay. And then I think you're, do you have a large laser? Yes, I do have one large laser. You can try that if you think you'll be good with heat. Okay, and that was the heat, and so I gotta look over on this damage table here, and it goes to heat. Heat is one on auto cannon. So it only adds eight, one. It only adds one. Yeah, I think I'll be good with heat. The other one will, this large laser will add eight, so. You did run, and running is two heat. So two heat. So I also have two heat. So now you have to decide, do you have enough, like, is your gun going to be cool enough if you fire that large laser? Are you going to be able to get rid of all the heat? Yes. Okay, let's do it. And I hit. Awesome. Where do you hit me? Well, you'll know when I roll it. So six. So right torso, and that's for, I think, inner sphere large lasers are eight damage. Eight damage. Uh -huh. So right torso, 8 damage. Now these things have a lot of hit points on them. Oh yeah. I'll have to show this in the explanation. So it like it doesn't look like it because there's And then I have to add there's a there's e. so much like armor, it doesn't look like it, but trust me, you can kill a mech in one round. So my character, the hunchback. It's his I turn. just have short range weapons. Um, he's 13 spaces away from me. We added it up. So there's no way for me to reach him. So wait a minute. There's no. You don't have any weapons that can get to me if no. you move? I just got that AC 20, and that thing fires a bullet the size of a house. It drops quick. So it can only make it nine spaces oh, maximum. Shit. Nine spaces maximum. Right. I've also got two medium lasers and a small laser, but those have the same or worse range. So I'm, I'm totally outranged right now in my, in my Hunchback. Hunchback right. is kind of a brawler tank mech, even though he's a, a medium mech. Okay. The Zeus, which you're playing, is an assault mech. It is, I think, either 80 or 90 tons. And that thing can take a lot of damage, and it can deal a lot of damage. There's Especially nothing wrong with the look. Well, I took the Zeus because it looks like a Decepticon. <laughs> Yeah, it's got an auto cannon on one of its arms, and you can actually fit a mech with a physical gun that it holds in its hand. So that way, during the fight, if you run out of ammo, say, um, which we're not going to deal with the ammo because it's just a training game. Right. Um, if it runs out of ammo, you can drop it and just have a fist to punch the enemy. Which is always good. All right, so... So then we would move on to the next round. Now, we roll for initiative. Okay, I got a one. I got a four, so that means you get to walk first. I get to walk first, so I'm going to... So if I'm already turning that way, I've already turned this way, right? Yep. So one, two, three, four. I'll step there. Okay. And then I, I, I have 17 heat seeks, right? Yeah. 
So if I'm at 16, I get right. to erase all So the before battery. we move, um, we're technically supposed to do the heat phase where we take off as much heat as we can possibly dissipate. Okay. So I only use two heats, so I'm totally good. Um, if you walked, that's one heat. If you ran, that's two heat. I, I only walked because that's four according to the walk statistic, and I didn't, I didn't pivot. I was already turning that way. Mm -hmm. All right, so I, that's just one heat. I go down to a one. Yep, you just go down to one. So is the, do I mark the zero or do I just mark it to one? Um, you can do what you want. Okay. Doesn't matter so long as you know where your heat's at. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pivot. So that's one, two, three, four. I'm going to stay right there because I think I'm within range now. Okay. So, because I won initiative, you got to move first and I got to react, but now I have to fire first. You have you to react. fire first. Okay, I get it. I get it. So, let's see how many spaces we are away. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, that's going to put you in medium range of all my stuff. So, that's only going to be a plus one to hit. But you did move, so that's going to be another plus one for you. And I walk, so that's another plus one, so I'm going to need sevens. Sevens, okay. okay. So. Let's not start off with the big guns just yet. I'm going to fire a medium laser. And that is a six. So I don't hit because I need sevens. So that's just empty heat for me. Medium laser is only worth three heat according to my chart. Yep, we've got the same kind of lasers. Okay. We're both using inner spear next. Ah. Reroll that one. Another one miss. Oh, okay. I'm up to seven heat with nothing to show for it. Now, here's the big guy. This is an auto cannon 20. If this hits you, this does 20 points of damage. You gotta check if you fall down. No, miss. Ouch. Dang, I'm missing with all my guns. So that did quite a bit of heat, too. So I'm up to 14. So I'm gonna start the next round with a little bit of heat. Now it's your turn to fire at me. Okay. So I'm going to get started with the LRM-15. That is a long range missile. And so that'll be plus one to plus one, which which the pluses are minuses in this one, uh, technically, because it ups the number that I on the 2D6 that I need to hit. Yeah. So um, instead of needing, uh, what do I need to hit normally? Um, Gunnery of skill of four. That's your base roll. So that's like if there's no other modifiers, so, you have so to roll. So I walked, I need a six, and, I, and I'm... So you walk, so it's plus one, so it's right. a five. It's a five, right. And then I'm using your LRM a, is... A long range, so it's an additional plus one, which brings me to six, right? No, because you're at short range with your long range missiles. Oh. Notice it also has a minimum range, meaning you can't fire if it's below that number. Okay, so I need a six. Um, yeah, because I moved. Okay. Okay, that'll hit. Cool. And then roll and see how many of those missiles hit me. And then, oh yeah, so it's 2d6 for 9. 9? So, so that's going to be, gonna two, be 12. That's going to be 12 again? Yeah. So I roll 2d6 three times. Yep. Because there's clusters of 5, okay. Yep, and you're going to be hitting me on the front still. So that'll be... That'll be in the right arm for five. For five. You're almost through my right arm. If that thing blows, you're going to get close to my AC-20, which is my whole thing. All right. Right arm again. For five, okay. And now you've eaten through my armor on my right arm. You've uh, gone into the inner structure, okay? So the upper grid is your outer armor. That's like your main stuff that's going to get blasted. And then the little grid below is your internal structure. That's where all your critical systems are. Okay, now you just broke through into my internal structure. All right. So then... roll 2d6 and see if you got a critical. That's a 7. I don't think that's a critical. Let me double check. Yeah, he's got all kinds of charts and tables. Yeah, isn't it great? Well, you know where everything is. I don't even know where this stuff is. Yeah, I've, I've played quite a few games, but I'm still... Figuring it out. And he's been talking this game up forever, so I was just like, yeah. let's get it up. 
I think, honestly, I think it's one of the best tabletop games around. Well, I there's think... nothing wrong with that. Okay, so, when determining critical hits, a 2 through 7 doesn't mean, it, it means no critical hit. Okay. On an 8 or a 9, that'll be 1 critical. On 10 or 11, that's 2 criticals. All right. And on a 12, that limb blows off. So let's see what happens next. Probably a 3 again. No, a 4. So that, that probably changes zones. A 4? That gets me in the right arm again. No, it says left arm on my side, or is that... Are you looking at the front rear? It's the middle column. Oh, right arm again. Okay. Okay, so that's another two damage? Uh, two, uh, I rolled a four. What is that? Is it... Are they... Oh, wait a minute. i got to look at my chart. So for the LMR, damage is... What is one slash MLS? Oh, that's one damage per missile. Damage so, per missile. I think we rolled one group of five. Mm -hmm. I think you had, this next one is one group of five. So that'll, in fact, blow off my arm. Okay. But you still, well, if there was anything in that arm that could explode, we would roll a critical. There's nothing in there that can really do anything. Okay. But my right arm, for all intents and purposes, and the medium laser on that arm have blown off. Now, the remaining damage is going to spill, which you had, let's see, two more points of damage, is going to spill over to my right torso armor. That's where okay. my, that's where my big cannon is. I don't want that to get blown apart, but maybe it will. Okay, so next I'm going to fire, uh, oh, I got to do, oh, you got to do I, two I, more damage. Two more? Yeah. No, I just, that was the last of it. I did three rolls, okay. and then I did a fourth roll for to see if you uh, I did anything critical. So that was the last okay. of the missile. So I got to generate heat from that now, and that's five heat. Four, five. Okay, brings me up to six, and then I got to do an auto cannon. Of let's see if I can hit yet. I do. It's auto cannon five. That's five damage. Now roll to see where it hits me. And that will hit you on a five. That'll be in the right leg. Right leg. And okay. that will generate only one heat. And then let's do a large laser. Okay. If you have medium lasers, those will also reach me now if you want to try to use them. I'm just going to go with large and then call it good. Go bigger. Missed. All right. So you still have to add the heat for that, even though you missed. All right, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, fifteen. Okay, goes to you, or it goes to initiative now. It goes to initiative now. Now we we drain our heat. Okay. So take off as much as you can. I was under seventeen, so I get to take off all my heat. I'm still at one because I used 14 heat and I can only just pick 13. So here's my initiative roll. I got a two. I got a two. We roll again. Roll again. All right, I got a one. Two. So, so I get a move first, right? You move first and then I react. Okay, so. I'm going to go one, two, three. Okay. I am not going to move because I want. I got to generate a heat for that. So you moved from here to here. So that means for both of us, we're going to be shooting basically on our ballistic skill, which is four. So we're going to get a lot of damage in this turn, hopefully. Hopefully. Now, you moved first, and I reacted, so now I get to fire first. Okay. So I'm going to fire my first medium laser. And that one hits. So now I'm going to be taking so some damage. So now you take five damage in your right torso. In my right torso. So one, two, three, four, five. Got it. Okay. And then I don't have the other medium laser because you blew that arm off. So I'm going to fire my auto cannon 20 while I still have it. Hopefully I get four on two nights. Okay, that one hits you. Okay, now it's going to get interesting. Now it's going to get interesting. And that is an 8. 
So that's going to be left torso for 20. Oh, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 17, 18. I'm out. I, okay, so now, now we you go down level. into the internal structure and finish filling in the dots. So 19, 20, 21. No, no just, 20. just 20. And then I get a roll and see if I did critical damage in that area. So I got a 3, so it's not a critical. Okay. But I did blow through that armor. Now, at the end of the turn, you're going to have to take what's called a pilot skill check. Okay. Now you'll notice on the opposite and I, side... And I probably have to roll underneath a 5 for pilot skill, right? Or uh, You have to roll over a 5. Okay. Because that's your pilot skill. Um, actually, it's because you did take 20 points of damage. If you look at the piloting skill table, it's plus 1. So you're going to have to roll a 6 or better on 2. A uh, 6 or... Oh, yep, yeah, I if see If you it. roll under a 6, your mech falls and eats dirt... And you got to roll to see how much damage you take, which are an 80-ton mech, so you're going to take eight points of damage to whatever part you fall on. Okay. Okay. And then I had a small laser, but that can't reach you, so I'm not going to fire it. And, and how that, much heat did you generate from that? I generated 10 heat, so I'm at 11. Okay. Let's see if I can knock that laser off of you. All right. The auto cannon, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> the auto cannon, that thing's a dick. All right. Yeah, it's deadly. That's why you take the hunchback. That's why you take the hunchback. I'll remember that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fire my... Uh, now, my we're underneath your minimum range for your LRMs, so those are going to be useless. So I can't shoot the LRM? Yeah. Okay. There are advanced rules on how to fire underneath your minimum, but this is just a training game. We're not going to get into that today. Okay, so we're going to do a three on a medium laser. And since I moved, do I have any uh, minuses for taking 20 damage? Um, because you moved, it's plus one. So it's But five. there's no minuses for taking damage. Okay. So just five. That's going to hit you. Okay. Five damage where? Oh, it's actually, uh, oh, five damage to your four right arm. So that goes back into my left torso, or my right torso. So my right torso, that is stripped of armor. You keep hitting me in the right side. Okay. Well, you, you hit me once and it took out my entire left side, so. That's why he's deadly. Okay, auto cannon. We're going to do the auto cannon. Uh, oh, next medium laser, and I generated five. I generated three heat okay. from that. Let me keep so track of my three heat from the medium laser. Three. And you're going to fire your next medium laser? Yep. Okay. That'll hit. That hits. Generating then, three more heat. Okay. And then roll location. Rolling location. That is going to be eight. So that's going to be in my left torso. The torso I haven't hit. Yeah, that torso is still fresh. Okay, and then uh, we'll do a uh, large laser next. Okay. That hits. hits. And then the location of the hit is eight. seven. Seven. So that's going to be my center torso for eight damage. And then that's going to be eight heat for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's, uh, you take seven damage. I took eight damage. Eight damage. Okay. Oh, yeah, because the damage is eight from this. And then my last one will fire the auto cannon per, because it only generates one heat. And that'll hit two, and that's five damage to same side. Nine. So left leg. That's all my heat. Okay. Now, you got to roll to see if you fall down. Okay. So two dice. I fall down. Oh, no. So okay. none of that happened? or so, no. Do you shoot no. before you fall down? No, you, you fell down after you shot. Oh, okay. So everything's fine, uh, but you do fall down, so roll 1d6. There you go. So you... I don't know, you get hit in the rear, so... I fell on my butt. Yep, so you're going to fall in the opposite direction, so you're going to fall backwards like that. Okay. Though technically you are in still in the same space. Now, roll a hit location. Oh, 2d6. 2d6. And that's 4... So that's going to be in your right, your right arm for eight damage because you weigh eighty tons. So that's one point of damage for every ten tons. Eight. Okay. 
Yeah. So if you want to hit in, like in your rear torso, you'll notice there's the, that weird little diagram underneath. That's my rear. That's your rear armor. That has a lot less armor on it. Okay. So then the next turn, we roll for initiative. Okay. I got one. Uh oh. I got a four. So that means you're gonna move first. So basically, to stand up, it's right. gonna be another pilot check. Okay. And okay, it's yeah. above five. It's above five. So you do stand up. <laughs> to get and that, shot again. And that costs one movement per attempt. Okay. And then, um, the other thing I forgot to mention is that when you do fall, your pilot takes a hit. And you'll notice um, you have warrior data where your gunnery skill is. Oh, right. Yeah, I you see. You mark that. hits taken one. Hits taken one. Okay. And because you did take a hit, you have to roll a consciousness check. To make sure you're still conscious. That's anything above three. You're fine. Okay. But notice, as you take more hits, that you're gets a lot harder that, right? yeah. to stay conscious. So that's underneath of the number. Yeah. And if your pilot gets unconscious, your mech's going to be a lot easier to hit and a lot more vulnerable. Okay, it's your turn to shoot. Okay. Um, again, I'm not going to move anymore. Oh, well, I do want to move, so I'm going to generate. Oh, yeah. I'm going to move towards you because okay. I want to generate it. As a matter of fact, I'll move twice towards you because if I can grab you, you can move the full distance because you stood up here. So that's one movement. All right, two, three, four. Okay, and that's just one heat. Let me dock my heat down to zero because because that only generates one to move. Four. All right, so. I'm not going to move again because I want bonuses to hit. I only have one arm, so if I do decide to punch you, I can only punch with one arm. Um, can I can, kick you? You can kick me, okay. and it does a uh, considerable amount of damage. Uh, but with that, you run the risk of falling down. That's even better. <laughs> that's, that's life, man. So I'm going to fire my one medium laser. Um, I need a four, five to hit you because you moved three spaces. So I hit you with my one medium laser, and I hit you in the center torso. Center torso for medium laser, five damage? Yep. Okay. And then I'm going to fire my small laser at you. And small laser hits. And that does three damage to your left leg. Left leg. Now here comes the noisemaker firing the auto cannon. Watch okay. me roll. Watch me roll a three. Oh, snake eyes! Snake eyes! Click. So. I still take the heat and everything, but I didn't hit you. I missed with my most powerful weapon. And because I fired my medium laser in my arm, I can't punch you. But I can still try to kick you. Which I can't quite remember the kick rules. Alright, so it's my turn. I'm going to get things started off with my... Uh Minimum range is three, so I can't hit you with the auto cannon, can I? Um, the minimum range on the auto cannon is three. Yeah. Yeah. Then well, you can't hit me for this game. So I got me I got medium laser, one. That's gonna hit, and that's gonna generate three heat. Okay. And it's going to uh, hit you in the six. Which is how do I know? How do you know which side? Um, unless okay, so right now you are technically facing my front arc. Oh, okay. If you were here, it would be my my uh, right side. If okay, you were on so the other side, it'd be my left side, and then if you were directly behind me, it would be my rear arc. So I'm in the front, right? Yeah. So uh, front torso takes five. Okay. Same thing. Hits. Ooh. 
Glad that wasn't your uh, your roll to hit and like. To kick you? No, uh, the location table, because if you roll a 12, well, that means head. you got a headshot. Oh, God. All right, location, seven. Seven, so that's going to be my center torso. So that's another five? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's another three heat for me. One, one two, three. Now I have a... I don't think I can use... I have... What's a dash? Okay, so I can use the large laser. Yeah, so you can punch me um, because I think none of the weapons in your arms have short enough range, so you haven't been using those. Um, if you don't use those weapons, you can punch with those arms. Oh, what's the large laser? Is that the one in my hands? Um, okay, okay, I, I, I remember the kick rolls now. Um, I'm going to auto cannon, then I'm going to kick. Okay, I missed, and now how do I kick you? So to kick me, it is, let's see, it's on here somewhere, hang on. Also one thing I, I wanted to notice that I just noticed now is that um, we have been going a little bit easy as far as like the hit rolls. Because normally at medium range it's plus two and at long range it's plus four. Oh god. So it's a lot harder to hit. Um, kicking is a minus two modifier. So it's easier to kick. So it's your to hit roll and what you would need is now minus two. So if you needed six, now you need four. Okay, so my, it's my gunnery skill or piloting skill? It's your skill? gunnery skill. So it's a four, so it's a two to kick you? Mm-hmm. So you kick me, and what it is, is that damage is double like what you would get from your tonnage. So it's going to be 16 points of damage. Okay. And I got to do it to an area. So yep. double ones. Double ones. Let's see. That is going to be, because if you look, there's a specific table. There's a specific table for the mech kick location. Oh, okay. So it's just going to be in my legs. Unless okay. I was falling down. If I had fallen down on the ground, then you could kick me anywhere. But because, which would have been a critical, uh, but because I'm, I'm standing up, you hit me in the right leg. That kick location table. All right. Right leg for 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's going to be a critical. Go ahead okay. and try and roll it. That six. is a six. That's not a critical. Not a critical. And that it did like, eat all the way through my How much is the heat generated from a hit kick? No, there's no heat. Oh. There's no heat for physical attacks. All right. So I only generated a good turn. I only generated six heat, but I did fire the uh, big gun, so that's eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three. Okay. So, roll for initiative. Okay. We both got five. I got five again. So it would be your move. So, my move. I'm going to... So one, two. Okay. You could go a bit further. You could go one, two, three, four, and then torso twist into my rear armor. Torso twist into your rear armor? Yeah, so basically when you're at this angle, everything in front of you, you can hit perfectly fine with all your guns. Because your torso on, the, on your mech is twisting, pivoting to attack, to okay. line up all its weapons. Does that make sense? Got it. Okay. So what I'm going to do, because now it's my turn to move, which I did this same thing in my first couple of games. One, two, three. <laughs> so you gotta watch out. If the mech you're trying to rear still hasn't moved, that guy can flip around on the back of you. Right. Now, you can still hit me, but you're going to have to twist quite a bit, so you can only hit me with things in your right arm. 
So that's going to be the things in the location of RA. Nope, the medium laser is out, the, the LMR, and then I, I only got one weapon in the RA. Which is the uh, long, or the, the missiles, right? Yep, it's only the missiles. Well, I tell you what, for the purpose of expediency, I will stay there and just turn around. Okay. Because my front armor is pretty well gone, too. So I still have a little bit of back armor. You and got some back fat left. I have some back fat left. So it might be more beneficial just to try to keep eating through my front armor. Okay. So let's see here. Um, it goes to me. Um, I got initiative, so I would move, shoot first. Go ahead and shoot first. Okay. So I'm going to forgot to take my heat off. going to be a 5 to try to hit you, I think, because you didn't move enough to get a bonus, but I did move, so that's plus 1. So, I'm going to fire my one medium laser left. Miss. Wait. No, that's a 4, so that actually hits. You need that, yeah. So it hits you in your right arm. Right arm. For 5 damage. I'm going to use different dice. Okay. And then I'm going to fire my small laser. Small laser hits. Does three damage to your right arm. Three damage to my right arm? Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm all like, I get a ward save? Okay, so three damage to my right arm. Okay. Stop shooting my right arm. And now the auto cannon. Watch me roll snake eyes. No, Ooh, not hit. snake eyes. Ooh, what's gonna happen? The noisemaker hit you. Headshot. Oh no. It's a headshot, isn't it's it? It's a headshot. Oh no. Okay. That, so what happens now? That is sixes. That hits you in the head. Now you take 20 points of damage in your head. I'm out of head damage. Your head has been destroyed and your pilot has been killed. Alright, good game. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> That was my first foyer into Battletech, and this guy is not shutting up about Battletech. He has been, we gotta play Battletech, we gotta play I, Battletech. I've got nothing but good I, things to say about it. Hey, it, it's a fun, I had a little bit of fun until I got shot in the head and by the fucking hunchback weapon that just gave me a backbreaker and fucked up all my days. I thought that was pretty good. I, I, I thought I had you on the ropes, then you shot I mean, me in the head. Yeah, it basically had like all kinds of internal damage on me, everything was like. Yeah, lighting up red and and then you know just and random then you have all these like random charts and everything. So uh, what what kind of uh who is making miniatures is for these? So currently? right now it's done by a company called like Iron Wind Metals. Iron Wind Metals. They do like most of the line, but um, it's Catalyst Game Labs. They're the ones that like hold ownership of the actual tabletop right now. And they are starting to pump out a bunch of new models, and that's going to come out. I think, I think this month. I think it's going to come out in August. In August, wow. Yeah, it's either going to be August or maybe October. I can't remember. It's was one of those two. But they're coming yeah, out. Yeah, some of these models are pretty bad. They, yeah, I mean, well, some those are, are some of them from like the 1980s. For for every one that was cool in the 80s, there's like 10 that do not look good. Yeah. The, like the Jenner looks like it has a head. Where its penis should be. Uh, do you argue with me there? Just no, about, it's I about mean, as creepy as Caitlyn Jenner. There's definitely some fun <laughs> ones. Like one of the ones I like is the Imp, which is this weird thing. Or there's another one called an Urban Mech. That looks like a trash can. Well, there's like, one that I saw that looked like uh, if BB-8 and yeah, that's probably the Imp. Uh, uh, what do you call it? R2 had a, a baby because that's how they painted it or something. I don't know. But they are making a bunch of new models that are coming out. I'm going to find it. Here. And they're going to have two sets. They're going to have one that's like the beginning, like introductory set that has just two models in it and enough maps and everything to get you started. Some quick start rules, kind of like And then they do. have, and that one's going to be, I think, like $20. It's like, it's not much to get like a full rule book and everything. 
and then they're going to have the other set, which is like sixty dollars. That comes with, I think, eight different kinds of mechs and maps and dice and everything. And like, it's a good value. Like this whole box that my friend got was, which came with like forty mechs, was like. This came. This box came with forty mechs. I think so. It was like it might have been like twenty eight, but it was like forty dollars. Which I mean, I, I don't know. That kind of no, blows, that is pretty. That is that like, blows my mind. That's yeah. that's definitely some money I could spend. I could afford to spend. It's not like I'm going to the store and I, I pick up something from the Space Marine category. I get one model. Yeah. And, uh, and now I'm done. I better buy some spray paint because I'm also running low on spray paint. So why has BattleTech never had to change editions? Huh? So the, what BattleTech does is I think because it was designed by like engineers and those kinds of nerds, you know, your your okay, your so classical, actual your classical nerds where they were yeah, smart, your, your, your classical classic, like John Carmack style nerds. Okay. Um, like Martin from Simpsons. Look, uh, fellas, the first Snapdragon of the season. <laughs> yeah, um, but what they do is instead of having different editions they just keep expanding the timeline so when you start like you're gonna play a game with a friend you pick okay what era in the universe should we play this like okay. the, the lore of the universe plays a big hand in does it determine your weaponry it can um, so there's two major factions or technologies in the universe and that's gonna be your inner sphere mechs and your clan mechs clan mechs have kind of the advantage on technology but it costs a lot more, like points wise. Right, okay. And Inner Sphere has weaker stuff, but it's a lot cheaper. Um, a lot of people play in the year 3050, which is Clan Invasion, that has both things. And they've kept expanding it ever since, but those rules get kind of convoluted and complex, so not a lot of people play with them. Um, that's one of the reasons why, like, Battletech dropped off. Um, I mean, they were in copyright hell for a while, but... Uh, copyright hell? Who, who, who got them on copyright in front of them? So, there's an anime called uh, Macross, or... Robotech. Oh, yeah! Macross, okay. There's a company there. in the United States called Harmony Gold, and they are basically copyright trolls. They own the, like, the U.S. copyright for Macross stuff, and they... Like, some of the mechs are very similar, you know, I'm not going to deny that. They're, they're pretty much, like, the same. But here's the thing, both Macross and Battletech purchased those designs from the same guy. So there's no precedent for the copyright stuff at all, and they've been in legal hell forever. So now they're sort of stewing the crap at Harmony Cold, and they're coming out stronger than ever. Like, Battletech popularity is on the rise. I went to buy this guy some models the other week. We you, doing, you don't have to buy me anything. I, 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 I was going to get you some so we could get into the game, but I went to the store to buy them, and they had, like, so many sets when I was there the first time. I went there again, and they were totally sold out. Wow. So it's on the rise. People are playing this game. It's coming back. MechWarrior 5 is coming back. MechWarrior I didn't hear about that MechWarrior Online thing. MechWarrior Online is bigger than ever, um, and then they're coming out with all these new additions, and they're coming out with all kinds of free rules. It's it's going to be the new thing. It's going to be the new kid on the block. You know, I I thought they said Star Wars, uh, the miniature game, was going to be the new thing on the block. Haven't seen anybody making videos of that. Right, but people have been making Battletech stuff since the 80s, and they have not stopped. So, all right. So, the, I, I, I had a little bit of fun until I got shot in the head, like I said, and everything. That, I, it happens. I, no, I, I like that. I want, I, you know, sometimes... That, everybody complained about the magic phase in Warhammer Fantasy 7th Edition or whatever. Oh, it's broken, it's broken. But sometimes the game just needs to abruptly end. <laughs> Alright? It just, you, 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 oh, I'm the Dungeon Master, and yeah, I rolled a critical hit. The sword went right through your, bra your brain chasm there, and uh, you're dead. You start a new character, fuck you. <laughs> there you go. That's, what, that's exactly what needs to happen every now and then. I, I had him on the ropes, I looked down at him, but I waited too long, like the Predator. And then I, got, I and then the alien broke free of the net and killed me somehow. <laughs> and the only thing they had to do was make that alien bigger, because in the comic book that alien was bigger for some reason than the other aliens, and that's why it was able to kill two Predators. But Paul W.S. Anderson can't put two and two together. <laughs> it's a story for another time. 
And so that's just me. And uh, and you already explained how much it got it cost to get started, and yeah, you answered it's, all it's the like, questions. I only had three questions written down here. You answered well, them all. Well, one thing that a lot of people are really hung up on when I talk to them about like BattleTech and stuff is that they'll go to like like why ever would you need mechs? You know what what is a bipedal weapons platform? got above like a tank. Like a tank can do all these things. Well a mech has a fist. I mean obviously. Well, like you can put a ramming thing on a tank but the real, the, the reality of it is is that if you're in the future and you have all these different planets with all kinds of different terrain, mechs are going to get around a lot a easier a lot than, tanks. than tanks and you can fit a lot more weapons on something that, well, maybe not but like, you can fit a good amount of weapons on them and you can fit jump jets and stuff. And I'm all for that. You know. I wonder if people have made their mechs out of Tau suits. They're heavy ones or something. No, no, that's... I haven't seen anything, but I can imagine there's probably some conversions. Yeah. There was one conversion. I need to find it again. I can't find any pictures of them on Google anymore. Some guy took the uh, Gundam bits and a lot of the Tau shit and he made Decepticons. <laughs> like actual, legit Decepticons and they looked awesome. And don't know where that army is. I only saw it once and I wish I had saved every picture from that. They probably shut them down. And you're like, oh, that's stupid. Fuck you. you jealous motherfucker. But, <laughs> yeah, this game is, like, it's nuts. Like the kind It of is a little a bit in-depth because you have... Uh, what do you call it? You have an internal structure. You, so, and that was what I was afraid of, is that this game would take too long. But luckily, I did get shot in the head. Yeah. So. Well, that, that's the thing. is like, if you've got enough guys in play and you know what you're doing, you can kill a mech in one turn. Like, if, like uh, this little guy, he looks like nothing. He doesn't look intimidating at all. Yeah. I can kill a guy in one turn with Is him. that him right here on this book? Um, that, that looks no, like No, that is Battlemaster. Battlemaster. Um, he's actually pretty big. It's just the Battle Blarf. No, that is okay. Catapult. Catapult. Yeah. Does it I, float? I, what? Does, the, does it float or jump around? Uh, it probably has jump jets. Oh, okay. It's mainly just like a long-range missile platform. Oh, okay. But, uh, no, I mean, I like if you play MechWarrior online, it translates almost one-to-one -to, -one to the tabletop. Like, a lot of so the things Battle I Mac do... So are Battle Mech and Warrior the same thing? Yeah. Um, they're the same thing, they're just called different names for, uh, the, the real reason is, is because when they started doing the game, they created this one that's just like the skirmish tabletop game, and then there's also a pen and paper RPG that incorporates this tabletop, and that's called Mech Warrior, because the pilots are called Mech Warriors. Well, next time I want to play Vampire the Masquerade, which is a pen and paper RPG, I'll let you know. But, uh, but, no, this is a miniatures channel, we play mini we play with miniatures. <laughs> Well, that's what I love about this. Is like, Pen and paper RPGs are the devil! Well, if you're playing like D&D &D or something, it's so like, you know, am I near that goblin? Do I hit him? I rolled an 18, what does that mean? Yeah. In this, it's like, okay, you guys are deploying in your squad, and you're going to go and you need to accomplish this task. And you have like your heat and your armor and everything, like, I don't know. The other thing I like about it, too, is that all these games nowadays, they're just streamline, streamline, streamline strip out all complexity and all the rules. And this has survived the have, 80s. It is the I am antithesis a fan of, the 80s. of everything I love about, like... No, well, this one just looks like a penis with legs. You'll have to just, <laughs> you'll have to just get this in the, in the feed. <laughs> Me and Tyler call that the walking bomb. The walking bomb. <laughs> and... Yeah, yeah, okay. There's yeah. a lot of wacky ones. But like I said, they're good. Here it is, right here. Looks yeah, like RTV. That, that, that's the imp. That's the imp. Get yeah. a picture of that it's on a lower screen. So it's a hundred ton back. It's it's hilarious. It, well, it, it's stupid is what it is. But you know, Yeah, you know. I mean, it's some of these mechs are silly. You know, you can do whatever you want. It's the ultimate customization game. I, I love it. I, I love it. Anyway, you have anything to take us out? Um... I recommend this game to anybody who's willing to try it, even if you have to start with like the MechWarrior Online game, which is free. It's like the same rules and stuff, and you get into the builds just as fast. Um, it's a great game. Get like, yourself. If, yeah. if you're tired of the other like games out there that are doing like weird power things and oh play with this and play with that, and you want more more creative control over what you're doing. This is the game. This is the game, and you should see this little book that he's got. Uh, he's got like 
Kyle, my character was Kyle Reese, a warrior from the future. <laughs> That's all I need to say. Anyway, get yourself some robots. As you know, YouTube has many features you can use to interact with us. You can like the video, dislike the video, comment, or subscribe. But until I see you again, keep fighting, keep playing. Don't forget to retro blast some mech warrior. Stay metal, my friends. Help. Here it comes.